Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted unto you, and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Your yesterday may not be the best, but He gives you the gift of tomorrow as proof that he loves you please listen to me Mina you have to learn this that for the rest of your life you will vow that the joy of the Lord is my strength say it after me that when you face a news that is unpleasant your testimony is that the joy of the Lord I cannot lose strength I cannot lose strength. It is too risky to lose strength. It is a risk to lose joy. I stand in joy because it is in joy that my harvest comes. I know he will show up. My joy knowing this. Count it all joy, brethren, when you face diverse temptations knowing this. There is an information you know that God who is your deliverer is coming. Listen, the love of God is very powerful. He says, I have loved you with an everlasting love and I have drawn you with my loving kindness. God is not ashamed to express how vulnerable he is towards you. And he's saying, I can chase you that far. Sometimes I demand that you call me, but even if you don't call me, my jealousy towards you will make me to hide my pride and come running after you. The joy of the Lord. Many of you right now seated here, I know I'm going to pray for you shortly but many people are already discouraged November nothing to show forth in my life finances zero children zero Lord you gave me a word this year that by now I will have a child and now I don't have the child Lord you said you were going to correct my finances Lord you said you will bless my family and November things are worse than they were January let me teach you what to do even if you cry, cry in joy. Vow that you will never complain. Satan, you will not hear me communicate sorrow. You will only hear a song from my heart to the heavens. Because I know that my Redeemer is true. Let the weak say, he didn't say let the weak explain why they are weak let the weak say i am strong please understand what i'm telling you if everything leaves my life there are two things that will remain god and joy leave these two things in my life and everything will come back again i assure you yes sir joy 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 god wants you to have joy the joy of the holy spirit you are full of joy you are bubbling you get up in the morning and you are not afraid of waking up because you now be aware of all the problems in your life lord i thank you hallelujah it's a great day you find a song and you are singing and while you are singing you are, the devil is reminding you he's a master of the sense realm and so he continues to him to remind you you're a man of god you go to preach and at the end of your preaching it looks like you just went to deliver a lecture you make an altar call and people are going out instead of coming towards the altar. And you are wondering, what in the, what in the world did I do? Is this a sermon? Is it, what, what did I do? And you go back depressed and the devil says, I told you, you are not in ministry. Humble yourself and go and reapply for a job or do something meaningful with your life. And you raise a song. Find any kind of song. If there's no song, just whom anything find a way of expressing yourself because you leave jesus i leave i have no fear of what tomorrow brings because you leave jesus i leave today i leave to praise your name I live to praise your name. 
I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. God is speaking to someone this morning. I live to praise your name. And I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. Because you live, Jesus, I live today. I live to praise your name. The God that I know, quarter to shame, here he comes. Your assignment is to keep rejoicing as proof of faith. Ha. You're not a man, no. You're not a man, no. You're the God who opens doors no man can shut. You're not a man, no. You're not a man, no. You're the God of everything, no one like you. No one like you, Jesus. No one like you. No one like you. Say, no one like you. No one like you, Father. No one like you, Master. You're the God of everything. No one like you. There are times you don't need to sing to God. You need to sing to the mountain. There are times you don't need to talk to God. The problem is not him. The problem is you and the mountain. He's coming to assist. Mountain, while I wait for God to come, let me prophesy to you like Goliath. This is how you will be moved out of my life. And I will dance before you because these Egyptians that I see today, I will see no more forever. Hallelujah. Yes. I have seen God show up for people by reason of ministry. I'm involved in the life of so many people. And I'm telling you sometimes, even as men of faith, when you see the reality of people's challenges, your heart drops. You almost want, you are, you are careful to pray because you suspect it won't work. Son of man, can these bones live? Elijah, uh, Ezekiel said, don't, don't, don't drag me into this issue. You are the only one who knows. This kind of situation. I'm a prophet, but God, don't disgrace me. I don't even know where the bones are. Where are they? You are saying, can these bones live? The bones are under the earth. If they were gathered in one place, I may believe. And he said, let me show you how powerful I am. She sang it well. Halagbara, you are the mighty God. Hey, Latobiju, you are the glorious God. Halagbara, you are the mighty God. When Jesus was born, the angels came to sing and rejoice. They announced glad tidings upon the earth. Joy was very important to sustain Jesus. Very important. Believers, hear me. The spirit of depression is moving like a cloud across Africa and across Nigeria. Even strong men are falling because there is no joy. The devil continues to emphasize what you are seeing because he knows that we, the realm of the senses is where Satan defeats many. He will show you things and give you reasons why you should not rejoice. And the truth is that the challenges that stand before you, they are real. So they will bring you to a point of silence where you will count God unfaithful. You may not say it, but you have said it. So before he puts words in your mouth, put a song in your own mouth. Are we together now? I vowed a vow in my life 
that I will never open my mouth and say God is unfaithful. His song and his praise will remain in my mouth. Let me teach you what to do, my brothers and my sisters. Please hear me. I show you a mystery that is more... Some of you is after one, two, three years, you will look for this message and listen again and say, here was my deliverance. Let me teach you this. Go and write a list of everything. We'll do some prayers now. Write a list of everything that ails you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Go and shut the door. If you cannot sing, find... Some of you need to find this Igbo high praise. You know this kind of praise that the woman prophesies before she starts singing. Unlock yourself and dance around like a madman while you dance on that request and watch the God of wonder. Allah ah. is turning things around. Prophesy. For my good. All things, all things. I am the believer. One more time. He's turning things around. Yeah. Apostle, I was so disappointed. I thought the guy would marry me. Just when we were preparing to go and see my parents, he said they told him not to marry me. Don't worry. He said, the only one on earth. I'm teaching you what to do. For as long as you look at what causes you pain, it will keep growing. You stand in front of your office that threw you out and you meditate on that office. And the pain continues to increase and breaks your spirit. And the Bible says no man can indefinitely bear a wounded spirit. A wounded spirit is like hemorrhage. As you continue to bleed, you die. That's why people die slowly. We say they died of headache. No, they died of this sin. Of losing joy. I was told of a true story that armed robbers came to someone's house. They were shouting, shooting guns and so on and so forth. And the wife tapped him and said, armed robbers are there. And he said, what's the meaning of that? Why is she tapping him? And eventually she summoned courage and went out. You know, she was blasting in tongues and went out. And eventually the people ran away. She came back and met the man dead. Who died? Not the one who went to challenge the robbers. Fear. Fear. That guy's spirit bled and he entered into a state of coma and died. Your spirit is you. Some of you already are half dead. God brought you here tonight for that restoration. He restored my soul. He restored my soul. He does not restore your soul by giving you food. He gives you joy. Joy, exceeding joy, full of glory. That's why sometimes you see people under the anointing, you see them laughing. That is, that is, that is a surgery happening. They are laughing under the anointing. You don't know. They, that's mighty victory being wrought in the spirit. They don't know why. They are laughing on behalf of the, the, the Bible. Let me tell you, every time God is about to judge, he first laughs. Psalm 2. Let me show you something. We're about to pray. Psalm 2. Mighty God. Psalm chapter 2, please. And then we'll pray. Is God helping anybody this night? Yes. Psalm chapter 2. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it, Mina. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that I will rejoice. No more crying. No more complaining. I maintain my joy because I know that it is in joy that intervention comes. That's how it works. Psalm 2. Look up. Why do the hidden rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth 
set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against what the lord and his anointed verse 3 says let us break their bands asunder that's what they are saying now and cast away their cords from us verse 4 hallelujah read it if you're a christian one to read he that seated in the heaven shall hold on now that laughter is to activate power you will see it closely the laughter is not be, is, is not sarcasm even God needs joy for that <laughs> the Lord shall have them in derision verse 5 then he shall speak to them in what have you ever seen somebody who wants to fight and starts laughing <laughs> You are not aware that that laughter is priming the power and the fortitude to fight that's the kind of laugh the bible says god is doing it is true this is scripture that the lord sits in the heaven and laughs and immediately he will speak to them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure In the midst of the pain stay in joy in the midst of the crisis stay in joy in the midst of the disappointment stay in joy apostle they robbed my shop and carried everything stay in joy don't lose your joy you're about to lose everything apostle my husband is threatening divorce stay in joy don't move around telling everybody something that they cannot solve stay in joy apostle they just stole my car let me tell you how to get the car back stay in joy once you turn your face and start meditating on that pain it starts growing you will never have a car soon again apostle they spoke about me and said all kinds of untrue things about me stay in joy it's cheaper than explaining yourself stay in joy let god speak for you stay in joy hallelujah I rejoice in the God of my salvation I rejoice in the God of my salvation the mighty one who can rise up and turn things around let me tell you something about God before we pray listen don't get used to God's silence he is quick don't get used to God's silence God can arise like the mighty man that he is and with a dimension of speed you cannot tell he will come to your life and save you even his coming the bible it says is in a twinkling of an eye we are caught up god is not slack concerning his promises apostle where will i get the money to build my house it's in your joy not in the bank your joy is a trusted source of finance than your bank where will the fresh anointing come upon there are people who are anointed but the anointing is not fresh joy joy i have seen more miracles in my life as a result of joy than prayer it's difficult for you to believe this but it's true i'm a man of prayer you know i pray a lot and i bless god for the grace to pray but i know what joy does I have used joy as the classic proof that God has answered me. When I pray and I don't have joy, I remain there. But by the time joy comes, though weeping endures for a night, how you know the morning has come is joy. How you know there is night is weeping. You don't use darkness to know it is night. You use weeping. Every time you cry, is a testimony that is darkness. You don't use the brightness of the sun to know that it's morning. The moment joy begins to come, God is saying, you're morning. Ah. You have turned my morning into dancing. And you have turned my sorrow into joy. So, Apostle, how do I know it's a new season? Check your joy check your joy the same way your joy ceases as proof that darkness is around you you just know that i i lost joy and i lost peace did the bible not say every time righteousness peace and joy coexist the kingdom is within that place i check my joy 
the days many of you have have allowed cheap victories to pass and i'll tell you very quickly before we pray you got up in the morning or in the middle of the night and you are happy for reasons you cannot tell has it happened to anybody here you are so excited i'm happy you would have capitalized on that situation to establish the victory but because you did not have understanding even you you were surprised let me tell you your spirit had seen something in the realm of the spirit and it was passing it to you to act it out in faith so that it will be established after crying over the rent issue you just went to bed and you woke up with exceeding joy that's the time to rejoice because it means the father of spirits has gone somebody has woken up from his sleep because of you if you know what to do that's the time to say lord i don't know what you are doing but the joy is telling me my morning has come three things you do the moment the joy of god comes number one listen you verbalize it and declare words are powerful number two as god grants you grace if you can sow into that joy because when you sow into joy it can reap harvest immediately you reap in joy listen to me you can turn any situation around when you understand this mystery of joy it is an oil and it, that oil must come on someone's head today in the name of jesus christ joy this works for me very much every time god wants to bring a new anointing to my life there is extreme joy extreme i cannot explain sometimes it will last for days sometimes it will last for weeks and i begin to sense that god is calling me and in the place of prayer i'm not even interceding or praying for anything i know as that joy is happening i tell you sincerely listen to me pay attention to what i tell you is because new wine is being poured in you i know this the joy of the lord is my strength I live a very busy schedule, very busy schedule, but his strength has kept me physically because of joy. I rejoice. Satan has lost it over my tears since. He has no opportunity to see it again. I have mastered the art of cheating life, my tears. God is faithful. We're going to do three things right now number one we're going to rise and in the next five minutes my time is up but i will give you an opportunity by yourself and alone with god in this vigil you are going to find a way of singing a song of praise and say lord my joy is back i'm ready to win I'm ready to win. I'm tired of giving my victory to the devil. I am a believer and I am strong. I obtain my joy back by faith. Some of you will need to sing songs. Some of you will need to stand and worship him and take your eyes away from the pain. Take your eyes away from the sickness. Take your eyes away from the bills. Take your eyes away from the budget. Take your eyes away for a while. They looked unto him and they were, their faces were lightened and they were not ashamed. And then number two, I will share one more scripture with you on how to have the fullness of joy. And then we will pray. I promise you that I will not keep you long. Can we pray? Rise up on your feet, please. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord, the joy of the Lord, 
the joy of the Lord, it is my strength. Joy. God is bringing renewal, refreshing. Bringing your dream alive again. Bringing your hope alive again. Letting you know that the God of heaven will never leave you. He will never forsake you. Take your eyes away from the lack of children, lack of this. Lack. Just take your eyes away. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Hallelujah. Now listen. I want you in the next two or three minutes, just talk to the Lord. And say my joy is restored I worship you I refuse to give up my joy I gave up my money I will not give up my joy I gave up my peace I will not give up my joy go ahead talk to God shout 2019 you came to receive a baptism of joy afresh when there is no joy there is no progress when there is no fullness of joy life will squeeze you into a mold and defeat you cheaply At the center of it all, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. I don't see the challenges, I refuse to see. At the center of it all, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. There is power in your name. Come on, sing it, Mina. Hey. It's you that I see. You are here working miracles. I worship you. I worship you. You are here turning lives around. I worship you. I worship you. Let me give you a reason to maintain your joy. Listen. We make a miracle walk. Promise King. Light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Hold on, guys. Rejoice knowing this. There is an information that you know. We make a miracle walk. Light in the darkness is not what you do, that is who you are. So I rejoice. What does it take, oh God, for you to give me a job? What does it take for you to give me a child? All it takes is your will. Your will, your willingness is the raw material. What does it take for you to bring me out of that situation? What does it take for you to exalt me? We make 
miracle walk promise keep light in the darkness my god that is who you are listen here's how apostle paul said it he said rejoice in the lord always it's not an advice it's an instruction rejoice in the lord always and in case you forget let me repeat again i say that means for your own good is a prescription to keep you in victory rejoice in the lord but i found out that there is also a realm called complete joy you can have joy but not have the fullness of joy let me show you how to have the fullness of joy jesus himself taught us john 16 24. never forget this scripture for the rest of your life we're going to read it together and then now we pray please read with me mina ready one to read hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name ask and ye shall receive why that your joy may be full look up it is true that joy brings harvest but harvest too brings joy hello it is true that joy brings results but results too bring joy so i use my joy to get the results that will multiply my joy to get more results that will multiply my joy until my joy is full and jesus said somewhere in your joy equation there must be receiving that there are times if you don't receive something your joy cannot be complete it is true that whether the house rent is there or not you should have joy but what if you rejoice with the house rent in your hand It is true that whether you have a house or not, you should rejoice. But what if you rejoice with the keys now in your hands? It is true that you should rejoice whether the child comes or not. But what if you stand and hold triplets? Let me tell you, results can produce joy. Results can produce joy ask Sarah results can produce joy ask the people who are about to be disgraced in a wedding feast when wine finished results can produce joy ask 5,000 hungry men minus women and children results can produce joy weep not thou that didst not bear burst forth into singing because many are the children of her that is without child. Let me tell you this. It says, ask, and that's what we are going to do now, that you may receive so that your joy, Mina, will be full. I loved God, whether I was anointed or not, and I truly had joy, but my joy is full now that he has anointed me because I am happy. Are we together now? I loved God whether I had five naira in my pocket or not. But now at least I can bring out ten naira to eat with. I am happy. Results can multiply joy. Results can prime your joy to the full. Many of you, your joy is on reserve. It's there, but it's on reserve. Some half tank, oh, we are butu sunk. Be tired of the knee level, the ankle level. You must insist that within these few minutes we have lord i must leave shout 2019 with the fullness of joy the fullness of joy when that devilish sickness leaves your body it perfects your joy when god speaks to your life and destiny and opens the gates for you it perfects your joy hallelujah praise the lord the woman at the well, when she met Jesus, she ran with joy and called other people and said, come see a man that has shown me, has told me what I have done. Your joy must be perfected. You are going to pray. What one thing do you trust God to do tonight 
for you to walk away with the fullness of joy the bible says he that told he that told you have not asked but now he said ask so that you can receive for everyone that asketh receiveth so ask so that you will receive so that your joy may be full lift your voice mina inside and outside please ask lift your voice and pray i'm about to pray for you ask is any man afflicted let him pray if you've been evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will your heavenly father please ask ask for yourself some of you are asking for your ministry some of you are asking for your family outside make sure you are praying you are asking ask in faith Father, I rejoice, but place fresh fire upon my life for the sake of my ministry. Ask, Lord, turn my financial captivity around. Ask, turn my spiritual life around. Please ask, pray. some of you are asking that God will bring your family out from the bed of affliction like Peter said Pastor Peter was sharing he said some of you need God to solve foundational issues take the pain away oh God Lord, you took my pain away, and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody, in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing. Yeah, yeah. Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice. Come on, Mina. Yeah. 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 You've taken the pain and the sorrow away You've given me peace undeniable There's no need to cry cause you're always with me You're my father, my everything yeah. Oh, may my He will take your pain away and then he'll give you joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your lifting 
has come. Oh, 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 oh. your rising has come. I'm prophesying. Oh, 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 oh. Your help has come. Oh, 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 oh. Very simple song says, I, 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 my help has come when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that dream hear me then our mouth were filled with laughter laughter and said they among the hidden the Lord had done great things for them it says the Lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad then it says turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev it says that they that sow in tears they shall reap in joy I have about five minutes or so and I want to pray for you to lend my support in this program and I want you to release your faith within these five minutes because your life must change things will be redirected and reordered within these minutes you are under a very strong influence this morning that can turn things around the worshipers have come to set the atmosphere I've spoken to you about joy you are receiving first the oil of gladness it's a real grace you will find out that no challenge in your life will sustain the power to bring you to a point where you say God is unfaithful you will stand before what made you cry before shout and still laugh and say the Lord is my light and my salvation of whom shall I be afraid of shall not fear what man does to me I'm not an orphan there is a God in heaven Jehoshua the one who saves Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.